Hi everybody, it's Al and I want to do a quick video uh, how to on uh, reloading the 44 Magnum uh, caliber on a lead loader but this time I'm going to take you through some case preparation steps and things that you should do beforehand for those who have never used uh, this kind of kit before. So the first thing we'll, that we'll start on is right, how to prepare the case and how to prepare all the tools to do what you need to do. Uh, so one of the first things that we'll do is uh, we're going to lubricate the cases, which I've already done uh, in my case, to make sure that it goes into the die uh, easily and you don't scratch the die and then damage it uh, further um, uh, or damage it so you you know so you won't scratch your next batch of cases. Now, what I use normally is I got a, an RCBS uh, pad and I use I can use the Lee um, uh, the Lee sizing lubricant and this stuff lasts years and years and if it gets a little dry on you you put a little water in there shake it like that and it's good again that's one way of doing it so you essentially put a little bit on the pad to show you and then you spread it out with your fingers and then roll several cartridges in there. Maybe you can want to put four or five in there. Roll them like this and they're evenly coated. And then you put those guys in the loading block. So that's that's how I do it. You can do it any other way you want to. Uh, that's one method. Another method is to actually spray them with case lubricant. And some people find that easy. And I have a uh, one-shot uh, lubricant that I use that you just simply grab the cases, lay them on a towel if you want to, lightly spray them over, turn them over, spray them again, and you're pretty much done. So that's a convenient way of doing it. Uh, a third way of doing it is to use this uh, case lubricant, which I really like quite a bit. This is uh, made with uh, lanolin and uh, alcohol essentially that's all there is to it so it's uh, it's really nice uh, I like it a lot uh, it's uh, you know it's environmentally safe and it has a pump built in again pour the cases out on a towel pop it a few times and you're done so there's several ways of accomplishing the same thing uh, I personally like the the Lee Lube with the case pad uh, but if I'm in a rush or I gotta do a lot of them I will go to the pump spray with the uh, lanolin and that seems to work out really well for me. Now, for loading uh, the uh, 44 Magnum loads, one of the things that the kit will always include is just a loading table that you can see depending on the bullet weight that you're going to use, what kind of powder and, and the dipper that you're going to use. But it also tells you uh, things about what kind of bullets you use uh, and it shows us that we need to use a 430 uh, diameter bullet uh, and it also shows us that the, that the maximum overall length case uh, or length uh, is uh, 1.610 inches so the maximum overall, overall length for the cartridge with the bullet is 1.610 inches so we want to make sure that this is set in such a way that when you put your bullet in there that it's going to come out of the right height now, what you want to do is you want to you know, put your case in there, stick the bullet in, back this out as, as far as it'll go, and then you see that there's a neural knob in there, and then top it in with a hammer. And uh, well, once once you bring that down, right, uh, or bring it down as far as it'll go, you tap it in with a hammer, and uh, that'll bring the case in uh, quite a ways. So what you want to do the first time out is you actually screw it all the way in to make sure that when you put the bullet in there it sticks in a very a short way and then you pull the case out with the bullet and you measure it with calipers and you make sure that the, you know you, you make sure the size is shorter than that 1.610 and in almost every case if you're starting out it's going to be longer so all you do is you stick it down in there <coughs> and now you can start unscrewing this and screwing 
these are the top against this so it won't so it won't turn on you and then tap it down again until you get to the right depth another way and an easier way of doing it is if you already have preloaded rounds which i do is to measure them out when i measure mine here it's 44 magnum it's from american eagle 240 grain uh, jacket at hollow point and it measures 1.58 inches so it's under the 1.610 so now all i need to do is to <coughs> excuse me unscrew this almost all the way out turn that locking ring all the way up and when i stick it in there I should see that there's some space in there. You can see that. Now, to adjust it to the same height as a factory load, I turn on that. I turn down that neural knob right there so it touches right on that, on the case. Now, or on the die. Now, I turn in that top until it's tight against this uh, locking ring here. Now, it should be set. And the next bullet that I that I get out should be pretty close, within a you know two or three thousandths of an inch, close to that that 0.58, uh, 1.58 size of the factory round. So the first step in loading. Now that we have things kind of ready, I've already pre lubed all the cases. Is to actually deep prime them. So you put the case in there. You use the decapping pin, and then you use a a rubber mallet or uh, or a uh, plastic face mallet which is what I use. Go ahead tap that primer out you can see it right there. You can move it out of the way or but there's room in here to tap a few of them out. Now all you have to do is uh, go ahead and size this bullet. So you lay it down here and that's a 44 magnum it doesn't require a whole lot of uh, effort to do that. Now this uh, bullet seater, seater also has uh, a, a primer seating attachment into it uh, which is a little spring loaded plunger and what you do is you put the primer in the center of it and it holds it in place. Now take your case put it up on top and now you take this long rod in here and you tap it down and you can feel it and hear the difference in the sound when you're tapping this out. Now, you tap the rest of the case out, and you have one prime case ready to go. Now, it's the point where we're going to put the powder in it and we're going to, uh, you know, see the bullet. But uh, from experience, once you size that case, uh, you need to be aware of a couple of things. Right now, if I try to put the bullet on there, it, it's going to catch on the edge. And probably what's going to happen if I try to hammer that bullet down, it's going to either shave that bullet or it's going to collapse the case, and I'm going to ruin the case. So, to avoid doing that, <coughs> there's two ways of go, going around that. You can bail the case mouth with this uh, attachment that they provide. That's one way of doing it. And that bails the case mouth. I try not to use that too much because I don't want to overwork my brass, uh, and that way it'll last me a long time. So the easy way to approach that is to simply chamfer the case mouth. And once you chamfer the case mouth, and I put that bullet on there, now it begins to sit in there really well. So it should be ready to go. Do it a couple more times. Make sure that, yeah, there you go. And now it should go in and slide easily. You can see that there's a little traction in there, see? so. That's all there is to it. Now, if I look at my uh, charge table, I'm going to use 265 grain uh, bullets in here, jackalot hollow points. And if I look at my charge table here, I can see there's 265, or there's 250 and 270 grain bullets listed here, but they don't list the particular powders that I have. And I'm gonna use bullseye powder today so, what I did is I went back to my reloading manual and I looked up the load for 44 Magnum and 265 grains. And if I look at that, I can see quite easily that 
uh, if I use bullseye off or unique, which I have both of, I can use a 0.7 cc powder scoop and have a load that gives me about a thousand feet per second. If I use unique, I can get a thousand forty three, but I don't have a, a, a dipper. Uh, load uh, or a different listing in here so I'm going to use the bullseye so you can see how you can kind of change things around and uh, I've covered this in another video so if you're going to have a lot of these kits it's nice to have this powder measure kit which has all of the different dip, uh, dippers in, in place so if your particular kit comes with a dipper but the powders that you have uh, don't really fit that you could use a reloading manual or you could well, you can use the reloading manual, but you can also confirm in here uh, what the type of powder is and what dipper it is that you're using, and it'll show you how many charges in grain, how many grains of, of a powder charge you're going to throw given that particular powder and given that particular dipper. So this is a real easy way to get started. This kit, I think when I when I bought it, I paid like uh, twelve dollars, I think. So it's not not expensive at all. So we're going to use the bullseye powder and I'm going to go ahead and crack a brand new bottle of powder here. And bullseye is a powder that is mostly made for pistol because it is fast burning powder. Now I'm going to take this little container, pour the powder in there, and now I know I have my bullseye, bullseye powder, I can refer to my 44 Magnum load here, and I can see my bullseye using 0.7 cc uh, dipper gives me um, uh, starting grains of 7.6 grains of uh, of a charge. So here's my 0.7 cc dipper, and all I do is I dip it in there, pull it out, kind of level it off a little bit, dump it in there. Now I have a powder charge in there. I take my bullet in there, stick it in there, put that on there. seated all the way and it might be seated a little uh, deeper than I thought it would go so I'm gonna double check and see how far into that case that went and I have 1.6 actually that's not too bad it's 1.62 1 1.62 uh, inches overall length which is actually pretty good. It's still under 0.610 or 1.610. So now all we're going to do is we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, uh, crimp that case in there. And I got a nice even crimp all the way around. So that's one loaded round uh, with the, uh, the lead loader. So if we wanted to do another round real quick, uh, I'll show you what it looks like from end to end, and this time it'll go faster now that we have everything ready. So, take that primer out, go ahead and put that in here, push that case in there, put a primer in here, put the primer into the case. out, take some powder, stick it in there, grab a bullet, stick the bullet in place, seat the bullet, crimp the bullet, one fully loaded round. Well that's really all you get, uh, pretty easy to do, uh, fairly fast once you have everything ready. And if you kind of position yourself, you know, when you're not doing a video like I am today, um, you can actually get through it pretty quick because you have things positioned in such a way and everything ready to go and you get into a rhythm. 
So uh, it's actually quite easy to do. If you look online, they'll say uh, there's a, a kind of a warning on the Lee side that the 44 Magnum uh, requires considerable force to size into the, the Lee loader. Um, I don't believe it does, as you can tell, it, it, it doesn't. The key is to lubricate the case. If you lubricate your cases properly and you clean them a little bit beforehand, they're going rather easy. So that's it. That's all I had for you guys today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was useful to you. Uh, so God bless everybody. Take care.